A new elementary school is about to open in Fairfax County, but it's not your typical school. That's right. School officials got creative when a congested school area was bursting at the seams. So they converted an empty office building into a new school. Rebecca Cooper is live from the new Bailey's Upper Elementary School to give us a tour. Hey, Rebecca. Well, hi, Candace and Allison. Creative, yes, but initially a little controversial. If you were a parent, would you want to send your elementary school student to an abandoned office building for school? Well, I have to tell you, as a D.C. and Maryland public school parent, there are some innovative ideas here at work that other schools just might want to replicate. It's like walking into a high-end brand new luxury apartment building, but one filled with all the tools you need for teaching in a school where 70% of the students qualify for free or reduced price lunches. This is so above and beyond and un unexpected. I think the kids are just going to be over the moon. I know the teachers already are. In this case, serious overcrowding was the mother of invention. Bailey's Elementary was at 130% capacity with 19 trailers outside the original building. Now this former office building building will serve as the campus for grades three through five, having been converted in only 21 weeks time. Assistant Superintendent Jeff Platenberg has spent billions building new schools in his career and was a major champion for this out of the box $20 million vertical concept, an idea that initially took some convincing for skeptics. You start talking about you're doing it for children, you're doing it so that they have the best places to learn, and you do it so that teaching and learning is conducive for that environment. It's amazing how people start to change their attitudes. Now students can spread out. Their spacious cafeteria comes with a killer view and special birthday booths. The library has traditional books and computers, but also ergonomic chairs specially designed to help fidgety kids focus. It may be hard to focus in science class since this view includes takeoffs and landings from Reagan National Airport. So, well, who paid for the $20 million price tag? Fairfax County voters when they approved a bond measure to include this school being built. But also, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. There's no outdoor playground, so they had to get creative when it came to indoor play space. And there is, of course, traffic on Leesburg Pike. But school officials say they would have had to deal with traffic no matter where they built a new school in this part of Northern Virginia. Reporting live at Bailey's Crossroads, Rebecca Cooper, ABC 7 News. Really makes you want to go back to school. That looked pretty cool, Rebecca. <laughs> really? Nice. Thank